Hi there and welcome to this short instructional video on how to install and configure the WordFence security plugin for WordPress. So first things first, we're going to assume that you've logged into your website. This is a, a standard dashboard and to install a plugin, if you don't already know, we're going to go over to the left hand side on the menu, hover over plugins and click on add new. The system will then bring up this screen which is the featured plugins from WordPress but we're not interested in any of those. We're going to go to the top right and type in WordFence up there. You may need to press enter but even if, but in most cases if you don't uh, it should just bring up a list of relevant, uh, relevant results from this particular search and of course WordFence security being the most relevant is the number one spot. So we're going to click on install now. Now the install may take a little while depending on your website setup, your hosting, how busy the traffic is, etc. So you may need to be patient here. And once it's done, the, uh, we get an activate button. We're simply going to click on that to make it work. When it's set up, this is likely to be uh, what you see. So first things first, if you want to be in, emailed by WordFence themselves on things like security and the latest news etc then you can tick you can fill your email address in here and get alerted to some extent if you are concerned about your site security it's worth um, having this they don't bombard you um, but they do let you know when things are uh, have changed and what kind of security problems there could be they will even offer you a tour but we're going to close that right now and head up to the top. First things first, we want to optimize the WordPress application firewall. And we're just going to click on here to configure it. Let's end that tour there because we don't really need it. It's usually a good idea to take the recommended setups and it's just based on your server configuration. So let's press continue there. Now we've got a couple of options up here. Uh, it's asking me if I want WordFence to stay up to date automatically. I always click yes and always recommend to clients that they click on yes. And now we have a couple of things that we need to do to set up the firewall. So first things first, we need to download these two files, the htaccess and user.ini. If you don't know anything about website hosting, don't worry. They are files on your server to do with your website. And WordFence is going to change them, which is why we need to download a backup. Just in case, in the unlikely event that it doesn't work, we'll be able to re-upload the original files. So I'm just going to click on those to download them. And then click on continue when that's done. So got another alert at the top from WordFence. WordFence is pretty good at alerting you when things aren't quite right. We're going to come back to this um, uh, in a moment. But first things first, we're going to scroll down. You should get a screen like this. If it's a new install and you're new to WordFence, you should get learning mode. You might have something slightly different, enable and, enabled and protecting. But we're going to leave it in learning mode for now and then just click on save. WordFence software is good enough to learn about your site, your traffic and how it's configured etc and they will ultimately update it to enabled mode uh, in a few days time. Now we're going to scroll back up to here um, to you uh, have not set up an administrator address to receive alerts for WordFence. Now this is WordFence alerts from your website but we're going to skip that for now um, simply because we're going to go down to WordFence over here in the menu and click on options. Now in WordFence there's dozens of different options you can have to configure your WordFence software but we've actually done a bit of a cheat for you because we've done the research and we've come up with a pre-set um, configuration for you that you can just upload and what we need to do is we go all the way to the bottom of the screen and we're going to import WordFence settings from another site using a token. Now I have over here a, a text document with this number here it's a token I'm gonna control a to highlight it all copy that control V or right mouse click and paste into there and import settings that code is under the video if you want to just download it uh, copy it into your uh, word fence space to just save you having to do look into and research all of the different configurations so here we have the word fence set up in all its different connotations. I haven't put an email address in here for a good reason because it will just put my email address in. You to get to get rid of that you need to put your email address in there so you can receive alerts from your website's WordFence settings um, software. So put your email address in there. Going down a little bit further I have I'm going to talk through one or two things which might be useful. Um, 
an email here to let you know when WordFence is automatically updated. You will be asked at some point, we have been asked if we want it updated automatically. We've said yes, but I don't want to be alerted every time it updates because it could well send me an email every single day, sometimes twice a day, depending how quickly the software is updated. There's all sorts of other alerts you can have. To be honest, most of them I find to be not particularly relevant. Um, you know, like this one, when the lost password form is used for a valid user. Do you really need to know that? Probably not, and you could end up with loads and loads of stuff in your inbox, which doesn't doesn't help. I set it to have alerts on critical problems and warnings, uh, and that's usually enough. If you want to receive summaries, um, you can have, you can set this, and you can set your frequency as well. I typically don't because uh, I trust the software, and to be honest, I look into the websites very regularly, uh, so I don't really need that. All of the scans to include down here, um, I've ticked what we've considered to be the most optimum. Again, more optimum settings here. We've done the research. This is what we feel is the best um, for it. So when you put your email address in and set your alerts, um, you will go down here and click on Save Changes. And that, my friends, is that WordFence, WordFence is set up. It's really not as complex as you think if you use the preset uh, configuration that we've given you. Um, but you're more than welcome to go and um, do the research for yourself and set it up how you want it. But that is it in a nutshell. So I hope that's been useful. If we've missed anything, please let us know in the comments. But like I said, the pre-configuration, uh, pre-settings, uh, config text, the, the token is underneath this video. So thanks for watching and bye for now.